right, y'all? That's loud. Hang on, that's loud. There we go. Um, welcome back. Good morning. So what we're gonna do today is kind of a easy, natural, neutral, kind of a little bit vintage inspired um, eye look. So let's jump on into it. I am gonna start as I always start. Primers. Eye primer, face primer. Jam it to the music while we go. As I'm getting primer everywhere. I knew I squished it between my fingers. Okay. And again, I'm using the Mary Kay foundation primer with SPF 15 because we all need SPF in our life. Brain is driving me up a wall today. And yes, I realize I got it up in my eyebrow a little bit. Not too concerned about it, because let's be honest, makeup goes up there too. And inner corner, underneath. Okay, here we go. Move her down for a second. out all my brushes because again I am not prepared. I need to be more prepared to this. Okay. I need Okay, we're gonna Actually, yeah, we're gonna do this one too. We're gonna go in with the cream eyeshadow again to kind of set our primer. Um, today, it well, yes, it has many uses. Today, I'm using it because I want kind of the color that it gives, but I'm not taking it up as high as I did. I'm taking it just to the crease and leaving it just on the lid. I'm not doing a cat eye shape. I'm not taking it up or bonding it out. I'm literally just applying it because I just want a little bit of that like nude shimmer. We're just kind of leaving it right there. And then we're going to take the all over shadow brush. And we're going to open up my compact and we're going to use Toffee. And we'll just use this mirror for this. And we're gonna pat that on right on top of that beach blonde cream eyeshadow that we just used. We're gonna start the next song. Again pat that right on and yes it would probably be a whole lot easier if I just like 
did one eye <laughs> and then did the other. But I can't do that. Like, I've tried. It, it doesn't work for me. And I'm going to do a little bit on the lower lash line. So that we're coloring, not coloring, so that we're taking the color throughout. We're going to then reach over here and pull out my Pro Palette. And we're going to throw stuff, apparently. Mm, that's not what I want. Mm. Actually, we're just going to go back in here. We're going to use some mahogany. I love these little magnetic palettes. And again, we're using the all over shadow brush because we're just going to pat on. And you just want like a tiniest, I'm not rubbing or anything, I'm just tapping, tapping, and then a little bit right over this, kind of making like a, I guess it kind of looks like a backwards, like, uh, apostrophe. And again, just backwards apostrophe. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see. And I'm really weird. I like mine to be even. Mind down a little bit. And yes, this looks real weird right now, but we're gonna blend it out. A little bit more here. Then take some of that extra pigment off my brush using my rag here. I'm gonna actually go in with my pressed powder and load my brush up with that pressed powder and apparently throw it on my black shirt and put that above it. Sorry, you need to be able to see what I'm doing. And again, load my brush up and put it above. So we're gonna go in a slightly different order today because today I'm gonna do the eyes and then the brows and then I'll do the rest of my face. And again, we're gonna take my great big fluffy blending brush and just blend the bajibas out of this. Turn my light a little bit so I can see how I'm doing. And because of the shape of my eye, it's going to naturally take a little bit of a cat eye, but I don't want like a super pronounced cat eye. And again, I'm just using that windshield washer motion. A little bit of circling in the inner corner here. And I feel like it's still a bit dark, so I'm going to take a little bit more of that pressed powder on my great big fluffy brush and apply it while we're blending. Blend, blend, blend. And again, a little bit of that pressed powder on my fluffer and blend. There we go. You don't want it too, too much. You want it like just enough. And this one's gone out a little bit, so we're gonna head and make this one match it and have this one like blend in this outer corner with a little, a few little circles, and then there we go. There we go. This is like a really quick out the door kind of look. I'm a sparkle girl. I need a little bit of sparkle in my life. So I am 
am going to get into my Crest palette and pull out Crystalline. Use my all over brush, a little bit of the crystalline, a little bit more than a little. Dap. And just right there on the center. Yes, we will blend that out. And again, pick up some crystalline. Tap, and right there in the center. Ooh, you know it would be super pretty? Okay. I know I said this was going to be a new, uh, natural neutral look. We're going to stick with neutral colors, but I feel like everyone is naturally beautiful and today I feel like enhancing my natural beauty with glitter. Uh, so I'm going to pick up some gold status and just to kind of show you guys real quick. Anger. Look at that! Yes! Look at the shiny! There we go. Yes! I need that on my eyes today. I just want to feel a little extra special. This is one of the ones that you don't need a whole lot. Like, you can tap it. I think I'm just going to put it right on, like... Like, from the center to the outer corner. Maybe a little bit further in. Okay, we're gonna actually put this down and use my little mirror again. Because I need glitter in my life. Might help if I stop trying to dip into the wrong color. You'll notice I do look a little bit, like I will look directly at my mirror before I put the color on. And I'm trying to line up where it is on this eye with where I'm putting it on this eye. That doesn't always work, but that's the goal. And right now I am using a little bit of a patting and rubbing motion because just padding wasn't getting the color payoff I wanted. This is frustrating me, so we're just going to use my finger. Yes, there we go. There we go. That's the color payoff I want. And so much faster. Finger. And again. Lend to the stars. And to try and kind of keep that color, I just tap. I don't do a whole lot of swiping. Again. Lend to the stars. Tap, 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 tap. And blend. There we go. That's what I want my eye to look like. And then, because I firmly believe that brows frame a face, frame a face again. Elf brow pencil and taupe. Mine's getting a little. Come on. Mine's being a little grumpy. Also not dry halfway across my forehead. Thank you. 
and spoolie them. And today the eyeliner I'm going to use is the Ulta Beauty Classic Felt Tip Liner. Come on. This is one of my other absolute favorites. If I can get it to... Come on. Don't focus on my face. Focus on the... There we go. Ulta Beauty. seconds. guillotine. Not gonna mess with lash primer today. I'm just gonna go straight in with mascara. And we're just gonna use my Mary Kay Ultimate. Actually, no, I don't wanna do that yet. Again, I'm just going to be using um, a CC cream again and very light because I am very light. I only really need when I'm using a beauty blender, I try to just use like one pump. Beauty blender! I like to use this large flat side for applying it and this for like my smaller areas.
Okay, that's clearly not gonna work. I am going to use a little bit of concealer today. So I'm going to go in with my uh, Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer. And I don't use a whole lot, but I just kind of feel like I need it today. I'm just going to put three, uh, maybe four dots. How to scare all the people away before you're done with your music. And then I switch to my smaller side. Yeah, that just kind of brightens you up. I might actually think I'm going to use... Yeah, I think that's good for now. And then I'm not going to bake today. So I don't want like full on coverage. My little blender away. But I do still set with powder. Again, we're going in with my press powder. And I will get better at talking to you guys while I do this. I'm just not used to talking to people while I do my makeup. Functioning. Grab my little brush. And I don't think I'm going to do full on contour today. I just, I'm just feeling a little bit of like, I do like a faux contour. A little bit of my Wineberry blush. And right where I would like right above where I would normally contour and literally just the smallest amount I used one brush dip for both sides of my face there see that's all I need because I am like pink enough as it is right now I don't need any more do still want though highlighter 
if I can get it open without breaking it. Because skills. All the shiny sparkly did it. Oh, yes. Yes. There. There. And that may not be natural for some people, but I naturally glow like I'm magical. Sorry, I'm ridiculous. Then, we're already set with, you know, oops, don't break. I'm going to grab a Jordana Easy Line for lips. This is just something that I got at Walgreens um, right before my wedding. And I liked it, so I've been going back and getting them. And because I feel like you can't do an eye like this without a red, red lip, we're going to do the Ulta Beauty 202. It's red. There's not a name on it, but it's red. Before we do that, I'm going to put on some mascara. Oh, I did, didn't I? So. Mystical magical trick for when you get Mascara where you don't want it. You need that a bit of primer. Like literally, teeny tiny little bit of primer. And grab like an eye sponge or a clean Q-tip. And put it on the edge of the clean Q-tip or the eye sponge. And erase away. Without messing up the whole look. And then I'm just going to take my little bubble. Okay. And last but never least, because coat of lipstick make you feel better.
All right, my darlings, that is the look for today. Um, I gotta be up because I gotta go take care of some stuff. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Um, uh, go follow me on my other platforms. I will list them in the uh, description just because I don't have them memorized yet. But I've got them up and running, so I'm very proud of myself for that. Um, I'll look. I will see you guys when I upload next. Have a beautiful day. Remember, be kind to one another and be the change you want to see in the world.